International Math Olympiad 2013 Problem 3 Let the X circle of triangle ABC opposite the vertex A be tangent to the side BC at the point A1. Define the points B1 on CA and C1 on AB analogously using the X circles opposite B and C respectively. Suppose that the circumcenter of triangle A1B1C1 lies on the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Prove that the triangle ABC is right angled. Before we get to the X circles, let's draw an arbitrary triangle ABC and its in circle with center O1 and denote small letters A, B and C to be distances between the points of tangency and vertices A, B and C of this triangle respectively. Pythagoras theorem implies that to prove that the triangle ABC is a right triangle with for example angle ABC being a right angle it's sufficient to prove the equality A plus B squared plus B plus C squared equals A plus C squared. Let's remember this fact. This diagram shows one of the three X circles of triangle ABC. This X circle with center O2 is tangent to the same three lines as the in circle, but it lies on the other side of segment BC, which is opposite the vertex A. Since both in circle and X circle of triangle ABC have their centers O1 and O2 at the points of intersection of angle bisectors between the corresponding sides of triangle ABC and the fact that these angles are complementary, it's easy to see that angles marked with red color have equal measurement and so do angles marked with blue color. If G and D are points of tangency of in circle and X circle respectively to the same side BC of triangle ABC, then we can see based on the equal angles that triangles BO1G and BO2D are similar and so are triangles CO1G and CO2D. The proportions between the side lengths of these similar triangles show that the distances of tangency point D from vertices B and C are the same as distances of tangency point G from the same vertices B and C, only they are reversed. The distance between C and D is equal to small letter B and the distance between B and D is equal to small letter C. This diagram summarizes our results. The left triangle has three points of tangency of the in circle, A2, B2, and C2. And the right triangle has three points of tangency of three X circles, A1, B1, and C1. In the left triangle, two equal distances denoted with small letter A are adjacent to their corresponding vertex A. But in the right triangle, the same two equal distances denoted by small letter A are on the same two sides of the triangle, but they are away from its corresponding vertex A. And we can see the same pattern with other pairs of equal distances denoted by small letter B and C. Now we can go straight to the plan of solving this problem. On this diagram, we have our triangle ABC and two X circles that are tangent to the same line AB from two different sides. The points of tangency of these two X circles to triangle ABC are C1 and B1. And point A1 is the point of tangency of the third X circle that is not shown on this diagram. The circumcircle of triangle A1, B1, C1 with center M is also shown on this diagram and obviously its center M must be located outside of the triangle A1, B1, C1 
because circumcenter M lies on the circumcircle of triangle ABC. And since triangle A1B1C1 is completely inside triangle ABC, then the fact that M lies on the circumcircle of ABC implies that point M is outside of triangle A1B1C1. Points of tangency of three X circles, A1, B1, and C1, lie on the circumcircle of the triangle A1, B1, C1. And we can also assume as a hypothesis that two more points also lie on the same circumcircle, point D, tangency, of the second X circle, and A2, which is the point of tangency of the in circle of triangle ABC. Then we have two rays that emanate from point B, of which one ray intersects the circumcircle of A1, B1, C1 at two points, A2 and A1. And the other ray intersects the circle at two points, C1 and D. This allows us to use power of point B with respect to the circumcircle A1, B1, C1 and use the corresponding formula. The distance between points B and A2 times the distance between points B and A1 equals the distance between points B and C1 and the distance between points B and D. We can use the legend of colors corresponding to the distances between the points of tangency and the corresponding vertices of triangle ABC to express this equality in terms of A, B, and C. We'll get B times C equals A times A plus B plus C. Amazingly, the Pythagoras equality A plus B squared plus A plus C squared equals B plus C squared is equivalent to this equality. If we simplify the expressions on both sides, then we'll get our initial equality. Thus, we have reduced our problem to proving that points A2 and D belongs to the circumcircle of the triangle A1, B1, and C1. If we draw line segments from point M to points B, C1, C and B1, we'll see that two triangles, BMC1 and CMB1, are congruent because line segments MC1 and MB1 are two radii of the same circumcircle of triangle A1B1C1. Two line segments CB1 and BC1 have equal length equal to small letter A and two angles ABM and ACM have equal measurement because all these four points A, B, C and M lie on the same circumcircle of triangle A, B, C and these two inscribed angles are subtended by the same small arc AM. Even though the angles with equal measurement are not between the sides that are equal to the corresponding sides of the other triangle. It's obvious from this drawing that these two obtuse triangles are congruent, which implies that their sides MB and MC have equal length. This is the key discovery in this problem, that the center M of the circumcircle of uh, triangle A1B1C1 is equidistant from two vertices B and C of triangle ABC and the two arcs MB and MC of the circumcircle of triangle ABC have equal measurement. Now we can recall that two segments marked with the red color BA2 and CA1 have equal length and from that we can conclude that point M is not only equidistant from points B and C but also equidistant from points A1 and A2 and since MA1 is the radius of the circumcircle of triangle A1B1C1 then MA2 is also the radius of the same circle so that point A2 belongs to the circumcircle of triangle A1C1B1. Let E and F be tangency points of our two X circles to line BC. Then point B is equidistant from points E and C1, 
which are two tangency points to the same circle. And point C is equidistant from points B1 and F, which are two tangency points to the same circle. We can recall that segment CB1 and segment BC1, which are marked blue, have equal length, which implies that two line segments BE and CF have equal length. And from that, we can conclude that point M is equidistant not only from points B and C, and not only from points A2 and A1, but also from points E and F. This implies that point M lies on perpendicular bisector of segment EF. We also want to prove that point M lies on angle bisector of angle DAC. For that, we can use once again the fact that four points A, B, C, and M lie on one circumcircle of triangle ABC. Angle MAC inscribed in this circle is subtended by minor arc MC, and angle MAB also inscribed in this circle is subtended by major arc MB. Since minor arcs MB and MC have equal measurement, angle MAC and angle MAD, which is complementary to angle MAB, have equal measurement. This proves that point M lies on angle bisector of angle DAC. Now, angles CAD and BAH are vertically opposite angles, so they have equal measurement. Lines AO1 and AO2 are angle bisectors of these angles, since O1 and O2 are X circles of triangle ABC. This implies that segments AO1 and AO2 form a straight line segment O1, O2, and point M lies on this segment. So, in the trapezoid O2, O1, EF, point M lies on side O1, O2, and at the same time on the perpendicular bisector of side EF that's parallel to sides O1E and O2F. That means that point M is the midpoint of side O1, O2. If we drop perpendicular MG from point M on line BD, we'll see that MG is parallel to two radii O1C1 and O2D. And since M is midpoint of segment O1, O2, this middle parallel line has equal distances from lines O1, C1 and O2, D. This implies that MG is perpendicular bisector of segment C1, D, and that distances M, C1 and M, D are equal. Since MC1 is radius of circumcircle of triangle A1B1C1, MD is also a radius of the same circle, which proves that point of tangency D lies on this circumcircle. We're done.